So we left our last video clip three sentences back. But Electrode had anticipated Smelly would track him down and had taken precautions, and he was hiding behind a seven foot tall pine scent air freshener. You'll never outwaft this, Smelly, he cried exultantly after first looking up the word exultantly in the dictionary. Smelly looked and knew the villain might be right. His powers were severe, sorely depleted from parking himself all over town to get here, and not the only thing that was sore now. But he had not come without thinking ahead, and he had stopped into a toy shop on the way. This is your last chance, Electrode, he called. Come out with your hands up. Up what? Uh, up in the air. What did you think? Oh, I didn't like to think, to be honest. But I cannot go to jail, smell a man. I am too bright. The other prisoners will resent me, or use me to illuminate their tunnels. Their escape tunnels? Oh, God, I hope so. <laughs> I will get no peace. As it is, I can barely move for butterflies and moths. <laughs> None of this was my doing. I was a law-abiding man, turned into this 5,000 watt monster through no fault of my own. I just wish to live in peace. Then why have you been robbing people by setting up your own electricity supply company and switching them over to you without their permission? Uh, okay, I just wish to live in peace in a huge mansion. But you cannot catch me. This air freshener will keep you at bay until I have made my escape. Watch helplessly, smell a man, whilst I saw and join these pieces of plank and batten together. Why would you do that? Uh, I, I need to make a ladder. I want to escape out the top window. I accept you are not to blame for your current condition, said Smeller Man. 63,000 megawatts of current. <laughs> but I must uphold the law. You leave me no choice, Electrode. So saying, Smelly opened a large sack and spilled hundreds of table tennis balls out of it, turning round as he did so, and used his remaining power to pump projectile the middle Electrode, who soon stumbled to his knees beneath a hail of plastic spheres that rendered him immobile. Curse you in your ping-pong balls, he groaned. The ping is bad enough, but the pong is more than I can stand. <laughs> Smelly soon restrained the stunned electrode with pants webbing and led him outside into the car park to await the police. Couldn't we wait somewhere nicer, pleaded electrode. Where do you suggest? I was thinking somewhere warm with nice scenery and no extradition treaty. A nice try, Electro. No, we will wait here by this tree in case it rains. I don't want you short circuiting. Hey, I don't care about what I hey, I don't care what you've heard. There's nothing short about my circuits. <laughs> Goodness, it's got dark. Here, open your mouth a moment. Like this oh Perfect, replied Smelly, and popped a torch bulb into Electrode's mouth. A bright glow lit the area. That's better, said Smelly. Actually, I have a second torch bulb. Don't get any ideas, said a worried electrode quickly. Suddenly, the still of the moment was pierced by a female voice. I can't read what I said. That was a great fit. Oh, I see. <laughs> it said quietly. <clears throat> I haven't rehearsed this, as you can probably guess, you know. Suddenly, the still of the moment was pierced by a female voice. That was a good battle, smell man it said very quietly. Smelly and Electrode looked at each other in puzzlement, then in perplexity, decided they preferred puzzlement and went back to that. Did you say something, Electrode? Yes, lots of things. We've been talking all night. Were you listening? I am hurt. No, no, I mean, did you say something in a very quiet voice then? No, I said, yes, lots of things. We've been talking all night. Weren't you listening? I am hurt, in my normal voice. You don't listen to a thing I say, do you? I heard that bit, but I heard something before that. It's a wonder we can hear anything the noise your bottom keeps making. Hey, if supervillains didn't keep doing bad things, I would not need to use my powers. Anyway, I am closer to the source of my power than you, and I heard something. We're overrunning the video clip, so I've got to stop now. I'm so sorry. I was quite getting into it. How about you?